Hello everyone, welcome to Grade Up. I am Shantanu Sanwal. I am back with the course on the new subject of machine design. Okay, so <clears throat> we have completed the subjects of mechanical engineering. Almost all the subjects we have completed for the GATE 2019 preparation. So this is the subject that we will be going to start from today. That is machine design. So this will be an introductory video. So let us see. So now let us see the weightage of this subject of machine design in the recently concluded gate examination. We have taken the trends of the last four years that is from 2015 to 2018 and what we come to know or come to see this is that in the paper one of 2018 this subject was asked for five marks in paper two it was four marks. So the average comes out to be from here it is 4.5 and here it is 3 marks and 2 marks and 7 marks in 2017. So the average comes out to be 5. From here it is 5, 7 and 10. So again the average comes out to be 5 marks. From here it is 4, 6 and 5. So the average again comes out to be 5 marks. So as you can see the subjects almost every year comes around for 5, 4.5 or 4 to 5 marks you can say. So the 4 to 5 marks is a good number because because uh, in an examination of gate where there is a cutthroat competition for each and every single marks that to in mechanical engineering so the four to five marks weightage of any subject is a <clears throat> good weightage okay so you should not just neglect this subject it's a very easy subject it's just the application of the strength of materials or the SOM or the mechanics of material or the solid mechanics by whatever name you call that subject that we have completed recently so it is the extension or basically the applicative part of that subject that there we have studied about the uh, <coughs> basically the internal forces that what we call as the stresses and all there we have studied about that that how those stresses are induced and what are the effects uh, of these stresses the bending uh, the bending occurs the torsion the deflections and how we have to overcome or minimize those stresses or minimize the effects of those stresses so that we can <coughs> use them in the design of the assembly parts so that designing parts come in this subject okay so this is basically an extension or the applicative part of the subject of strength of material so this is a very important subject four to five marks weightage so you cannot neglect it you just have to understand the subject it's a very basic subject or a very <coughs> scoring subject okay so just do not uh, neglect and just focus on this subject Okay, so then there are some of the books and references for the subject of machine design. This is a book by an Indian author that is V.B. Bhandari. It's a very good book. Its good book is very good for numerical approach and also the theoretical concepts have been <coughs> made explained in this book quite means quite clearly. Okay, so you can go if you have any problems, but I will not suggest you to go to the book and read it from cover to cover because the time is so much limited now for the exam only two months are left. So you cannot <coughs> have that uh, kind of approach or kind of a strategy to open the book buy a new book. If you are already following it uh, from early, <coughs> that's good. That's uh, very good. But if you haven't uh, gone through this book even once and if you have not purchased this book, I would say that you can purchase it because that in that way you will be able to solve the problems. Okay, though you can solve the as many as problems because problem solving will only fetch you marks in eventually in the examination. So you can buy this book, but do not read it from cover to cover. The important topics and what are the core areas that uh, are required for cracking the examination or that the questions have been asked or are likely to be asked in the gate examination that we will be covering in this lecture series. Okay, so just follow this lecture series and keep this book as a just for a reference and for numerical solving that's it so this is <clears throat> there is one more book by the foreign author this book is again very good for theoretical and conceptual clarity the practical applications are also given but whatever is said for the indian author the vv bandari the same goes for this book also if you haven't gone through it uh, <clears throat> even once no need to purchase it right now because uh, <clears throat> whatever will be important or whatever will be required for the examination the so prop for solving the problems in the examination that we will be covering in the <clears throat> in this lecture series and for the questions if you have a <clears throat> if you want to solve as many <clears throat> <clears throat> problems then you can go to the the quizzes the mocks the test series that we are providing you on the grade up and 
<coughs> if after that also you require some kind of uh, <coughs> understanding of any topic if, if it is that not clear from our lecture series and all so for that you can keep a book and that the vv bandari is a very good book for that okay so just keep it for reference i am repeating it again do not try to read it from cover to cover because that will consume a lot of time and time is the only constraint that we have for this examination because only two or two three months are left for this examination so it's advisable that do not buy a book if you have it okay it's very good you can keep it for your reference next is let me see about the syllabus the syllabus is there are the topics there's a design against the static load this chapter is basically the whole the whole theory of machine what we have an uh, sorry not theory of machines uh, strength of materials what we have studied in the subject of strength and materials and also some of the basic things what we have studied in the theory of machines also like in the subjects of gears and all what we have studied they are the basics that are only used in this chapter so this chapter is basically the extension of those parts then the design against fluctuating load this is something what we have to understand okay then the threaded welded and riveted joint these are the designing of these parts then comes the shaft keys and couplings the questions comes from this parts also and the springs this springs hasn't been <clears throat> basically we will be focusing upon the helical spring this part has been added recently in the gate examination in the past two to three years but the question is coming in in the examination very frequently means if there are two sessions of the examination so in one of the sessions the question will actually come from this topic of helical spring this topic is very easy just you have to apply some basic formula the basic concepts and the question will be solved okay then moving ahead with the syllabus the next topic is friction clutches again very important subject topic the questions usually come from this part also the brakes okay the brakes is also important there are types of brakes that we will be studying then the belt drive that in the drives also we have the chain drive and the rope drive but the question hasn't been asked from this topic as of now so we will be not be taking these two we will be just focusing our <coughs> study around the topic of belt drives okay we will see the open belt the closed belt the geometrical <coughs> concepts we will understand we will understand what are the formulas for maximum power transmission and all okay and then same goes for the gears also there are other types of gears also the helical gear the bevel gear the worm and worm wheel gear but again the question has not been asked from these topics so considering that thing because we have analyzed the previous uh, 5 to 10 years of examination paper so the probability of coming of these topics coming in examination is very less so we will not be wasting too much of time on this because the cost to benefit ratio is very less if you apply a lot of time on these topics and the question might not come so that will be a waste of your time so the cost benefit ratio is very less for these topics so we will not be covering them we will just be covering the topic which has been asked in the examination and which is more likely to be asked that is the spur gear okay so we will be just focusing our focus on the spur gears then the two types of bearings that is the rolling and sliding contact bearing they are important the question comes from these equation uh, these topics also and basically simply the questions come from the two to three types of equations only okay i am not going to name them they are basically the petrov's equation the mackey's investigation and all those things but you might not understand what i am talking right now but when we will reach to this topic then you will come to know that what is all those equations okay so these are this is the syllabus of the subject of machine design that we will be covering in this lecture series okay so first of all just a basic definition of what is machine design it is defined as the use of scientific principles technical information and imagination in the description of a machine or a mechanical system to perform specific functions with maximum economy and efficiency okay because the efficiency must be <clears throat> the max uh, the efficiency of any machine component must be maximum because that is the requirement that we have uh, seen in the the subject of strength of materials also that the basic components basic requirements of a machine components and all and the economy maximum means that the economy the cost should be less otherwise the product or the assembly what we are making will be uneconomical okay so machine design is the creation of plans for a machine to perform the desired function this is just basically the theoretical definition of the subject okay you did you do not have to go into this definition okay you do not have to be anything worried about what is written and all these things you have just have to this is basically just the introduction or the uh, what the subject is all about basically i am going i have already told you that this subject is just an extension of the subject of strength of materials whatever we have studied the forces the stresses that are induced in a body or a component how they are used or how they are 
basically used in the design of the component that is the designing part we will be studying in this course okay then again the machine may be the machine what we are designing that may be entirely new in concept or performing a new type of work or it may more economically perform the work that can be done by an existing machine so that is basically the purpose of design that why is the machine is to be designed basically if you have to perform any new kind of a work from a new machine so for that a new machine has to be developed or a machine is already performing one kind of function you want to make that machine work for another type of function so for that kind of work and if the existing machine is not that much economical so to make it more economical then the existing machine this subject comes into play okay or it can be an improvement or enlargement of an existing machine for better economy and capability okay so this is basically just about the subject what we have seen the basic definition the basic syllabus the important parts the important topics from which the questions have been asked frequently and also we have seen about the weightage that the average marks is four to five marks very easy subject believe me okay we will just you will just enjoy uh, learning this subject okay so this is just the introductory video what we have seen here is the weightage analysis the syllabus and the important topics the books and references that are to be followed from the next class we will be starting with the topic of uh, design against static load okay so for till then what you have uh, <coughs> to do just revise all the subjects that we have covered till now keep solving as many problems as possible from the quizzes the test series the mocks that we are providing you on the grade up app and on the website and if you have any problems any queries any doubts you can write to us on the grid up your feedbacks are always welcome so see you in the next class with the first topic of design against the static load till then thank you take care bye